The presidential election of 1800 was one of the most contentious in our young nation's history. Federalist President John Adams fought for re-election, but it became clear that the Anti-Federalists, led by Democratic Republican and Vice President Thomas Jefferson, would take the office. Meanwhile, in an effort to preserve the influence of the party, the Federalist-led Congress passed the Judiciary Act of 1801, now known as the Midnight Judges Act, which reorganized the federal judiciary, and the District of Columbia Organic Act, both of which created dozens of new judgeships and justiceships. Adams then spent his last few weeks in office appointing dozens of Federalists to the judiciary. These appointees became known as the Midnight Judges. The group obtained approval from Congress on March 2nd. The commissions were signed by Adams and sealed by the Secretary of State on March 3rd. The last remaining step was for the commissions to be physically delivered to the appointees by the Secretary of State. John Marshall was Adams' Secretary of State. Marshall had already been appointed Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Marshall was unable to deliver all of the commissions before Jefferson was sworn in the next day by Marshall himself in his role as Chief Justice. The undelivered commissions were still in Marshall's office when James Madison, the new Secretary of State, took office. Jefferson told Madison not to deliver the commissions. William Marbury, whom Adams had appointed Justice of the Peace of the District of Columbia, was one of the appointees who hadn't received his commission. Congress had authorized the United States Supreme Court to issue writs of mandamus under the Judiciary Act of 1789, so Marbury brought suit against Madison in the United States Supreme Court under its original jurisdiction to compel Madison to deliver the commission.